guys and welcome back. So this is still the same recording session, but this is now part two. So here we go. We have won the battle over here against the rebels in the first episode, and we've also decided to, to build a uh, open pit gold mine and uh, stable. So that's what we're going for. We have a bit of money next turn as well. Mastery of Arts needs to work out now, so it's going to go for Bushy Door straight away to give myself plus one morale for all my units. So let's just do that and let's just end the turn. So this is the end of the first turn. What will happen? Who knows? The Takeda didn't attack us, so that's good. Because they are. There's always a possibility they could attack us. So they wanted me to master strategy of attack. Well, good news. I'm doing that. Well, I'm actually not doing that. But we can do that for you if you want me to. That gives us the Hojo firebomb throwers and it gives me a plus two charge bonus, which is actually pretty useful early on. Now, this army, I have six units here, and I think Musashi is there for the take in. Now, what uh, time period are we at? Let's actually just. Go over the border, and they've got five units there. So I say we attack them. Okay, let's just attack them. Attack them. Attack. Okay, so uh, 639 against 443. We got this, guys, haven't we? Surely. Let's continue the siege, though. I'm not going to fight it just yet. I'm going to give myself a moment. Okay, so the Satomi have been encountered as well. So we got some clans to troll, money-wise. So Satomi, you are. Where the fuck are you? You're actually. Oh, I know you are. You're like the opposite kind of part of the island. So you can't trade because home capacity is not good. Okay, and we can trade with the Imagawa, who are allied with the Takeda. Now, Takeda, I want to. My friend, what do I want? Welcome. Come, I don't want an alliance. Speak your wisdom. What if I and offer I you, you five access? You are pricks. What about the Imagawa? What if I was to offer you. Trade? Acceptable. Friends. You pricks. You there absolute pricks. Much to offer you access. Okay, I can offer you military access for five turns. And you can demand. I can have a thousand off you, maybe? Oh, look at that. A thousand? Fuck yeah. Okay, so we're going to demand a bit more than a thousand Koku. We're going to ask for, I don't know, two thousand Koku. It's a good way of getting money early on. They haven't got two thousand Koku, but they probably do have, I don't know, one thousand five hundred, maybe? Do you have that? It's, no, not quite. Okay. Let's try 1,250. No, okay. You don't have as much money as I thought initially, but what about 1,100? Uh, you have that. That would be pretty good. So 1,100, Koku. And I'm offering you basically military access for five turns. Mech proposal. It's good. Thank you very much. Good, sir. So we're going to go on the good side of the Imagawa. And of course, because the Imagawa are nice and they're allied with the Takeda. It gives the possibility of me getting something with Takeda even Welcome better. Lord so an alliance is obviously is unacceptable. Could I sell something to you? Benefit. No, I can't. Okay, maybe next turn though. So we've got stuff to work on. We've got a bit of money now. We've got 2,294 Koku. So we are building uh, two things here. And I can upgrade these strongholds and forts. Now, I think Izu is going to be a good one to upgrade. And we're going to get the stronghold. Going for this because if, uh, for example, the Takeda were to attack me then they would have to come through here which is actually uh, Imagawa land believe it or not and then they would probably either go to Sagami or Izu it's good to have a very good base of operations a very strong you know much stronger thing because this actually gives me another additional unit of Ashigaru and makes the fort just a little bit harder to attack so I'm just going to do that and at Satomi now this is where I'm going to funnel troops from so I need a harbour of 850 I need more troops as well now it's basically, what do you want to do? Do you want to get your income going early, or do you, are you confident enough in your abilities to attack? Now, I have no units here, and of course, if I was to, someone, if somebody was to come through here and attack it, they could probably take it, because I've only got the samurai retainers there at the moment. But I'm thinking, you know, we're going to need money, harbour, trade, it makes sense. We've got a port by here we can work with. Let's go for it. It's going to take two turns anyway. And we're, going have, we're going to have over a thousand Koku next turn. Now, what do we do here? Do we attack the Musashi here? You under siege. Uh, summer. We should be okay to end turn, I think. They attack, come out and attack me. Then we've got a nice little three turns till surrender. Let's just check diplomacy. And your enemies there, everyone. Satomi as well. But I'm the one besieging, so if the Satomi were to come here, they would assist me. So I think we'll do that. Let's just double check our finances. I mean, we could go high, but it would piss everyone off. Let's keep it on normal. We'll go high maybe next turn for the, uh, for the extra money. Checking everything. It's like a big chess game at the moment. Just making sure everything's in order. Got my dreaded force. Got three seasons remaining to use that to reduce the morale of my enemies. 
Doesn't make much of a difference when you're inside a castle though. That's why an open field battle would be more preferential to me because I can use that effect then. And the food, you need a bit of food, don't we? So I think next turn we have to start building some food. But anyway, let us end. Actually, no, before we do that, let's just do a bit of clan management because I haven't done that yet. So two of six. I've got to take Musashi anyway. Uh, engines of war. Um, strategy of attack. Moderate, dreaded force, master builders. Uh, family and council. Okay, so Daimyo, plus one morale. And we've got my general, of course. Pretty decent general. I can adopt him as well, which I may actually do eventually, but... He is my commissioner for warfare, which I'm going to keep him at for the time being. Let's end the turn. And let's see what happens. So Takeda didn't do anything, which is very nice. And yes, they've, they've, this is good. They've come out and attacked me. Um, they only have one bow unit, one general. They have a samurai retainer and lots of Ashigaru. This is going to be good. We've got more experienced units. We are reduced, of course, but if we play our cards right, we can win this. So let's fight the battle on the battlefield, men. We've got the uh, fear effect for four seasons. We've actually got an open field battle now, so this is very good, very good, very good indeed. So what we're going to be doing now in this battle, guys, we're going to try and defend. Um, look at the map there. We've got some trees we can work with on the left flank, maybe. So I'm just looking at that right now and thinking that maybe we can do something there. Um, battle of Edo. Edo, 1545. So... Um, we depleted by about 200, but we got more experience. This is a nice battlefield, nice little view of the sea over there. Got a tree line to work with here, not the best of trees. Open field, open palm maybe. They might camp on the hill, although they've attacked me, they've got to come out and attack me, haven't they? Now, what have I got to work with on this battlefield? I'm just checking it. Not really any massive hills, not like the one they have, which is a bit disappointing. I could fight it on the flat. The flattened plain battlefield. Hmm. Okay, I've got. I think I got an idea. I, uh, I'm gonna use the left flank. I'm gonna put my two Yari Ashigaru units together here with a bow unit behind and my Yari Sam. It's just gonna protect. It's gonna protect the left flank. Cavalry's gonna be grouped. Can they both be hidden here? I don't think they can, can they? Okay, I can't hide my cav, but I would like to use them on the left flank. So let's start the battle. Right, they're going to march towards me slowly. Now, their cav is just a general cav, so if we take the general out, then they're going to be fucked up the arsehole. So that's what we're going to do there. Now, what I'm going to do here is angle my kind of forces, going to funnel them in this way. So if we get a long sort of line like that. And another long sort of line like that. We're drawing them into the, the range of fire. And my Yari Sam, I'm going to put them sort of on the flank here. Because if they do attack my generals, which is what they may do, then we've got something to kind of work with there. These two units are going to be basically going into Yari Wall as soon as I get a moment. They may be under fire briefly. Those retainers might fuck me up as well, so I have to be careful there. Our bows are going to be doing constant fire. They may just go for a straight out firefight. As a matter of fact, let's bring my bows into the fray. You are amazing. Get my cab on that flank. If I get, let's be aggressive. Let's be aggressive. No point sitting around doing fuck all. Get my cab up. Okay, Yari Ashigaru on the way. Yari Sam, intercept. Okay, this is good. Just a straight fire fight for the moment. Get rapid advance on. Fear effect's gonna play its part. They're in the fear zone. Their bows are actually coming out. Holy shit. This is good. We've got them caught up here. We have them caught up. Okay, well, this is, is working out better than I anticipated. They're gonna get that fear effect. Look at the fear effect. Fucking hell. Actually, no. Don't pull in yet. Don't pull in yet. Wait for it. Get that flank. Get that flank. We've got Yari Wall going over here. Yari Wall. And in. 
Inspire those men at the centre, please. Oh shit, wrong button. This is good, this is good. Hit them ones up there. Die, you cunts! That fear effect is fantastic. Sacrificing the bow units again. Ah, my generals aren't in danger at all. Fuck. Kill. Rally! Die, you cunts! Look at this. We're killing them all. We just wiped out the whole army right to fucking hell. General. Chief that bastard down. I've lost my bows. It was a sacrifice worth making for this battle. Oh, I didn't want to end it. Fuck. Ah, oh, bollocks. I clicked too quickly. I was, like, waiting to click my unit, and I accidentally clicked the end battle. I wanted to run them all down and wipe them out. I'm not sure if... Do I take the settlement if they attack me? I can't even remember. It's been such a long time since i played this game, but... We won the battle. Pretty straightforward, like I said. Lost... Uh, lost 139. They lost half their force. Shit, I didn't take it. Fuck, see what I mean? I didn't take it. Strategy of attack. Uh, inspired endeavors. That's cool. That is cool indeed. So what happens here now? So, army... Oh, fuck, they still got their bows. That's what I didn't want. I've got more men than them, though, so I can afford to attack. I don't want to water resolve, because that's for pussies. You know, it's, it's easier to fight it yourself. I got some money to work with now. I need to get more troops to reinforce what I've lost there. So it now would be a good time to start recruiting up Tsugami. Izu is going to be where I get my improved irrigation though and then I've got 250 odd left over. Oh shit I can't afford it. Okay um, I tell you what let's do diplomacy. Takeda are friendly. Would you like military you access for five turns? No you wouldn't. Oh you bastards why are you being so cunty? Top. Why are you being so naughty to me? I can trade with the Imagawa. Can I give you anything for money? Welcome, Rock, to to friend. There is much it's not working. To discuss Damn it. For our mutual benefit. So on five more turns. Satisfactory, okay. This is gonna work, okay. It's, uh, I demand 253. Oh, you haven't got it. Oh, God. Okay. Let's uh, offer you five. And can I have, like, I don't know, 100 Koku? Yeah, I can, okay. I can do this in that case. Okay, what about, I don't know, 150 Koku? Okay, you got 150. I'm just gonna wipe the bastards out with all the money they have. 199 Koku. You've got that. So you haven't got 200. Did I put 200 in? I can't even remember. 200 Koku. You've got 200. I'm just going to try and squeeze them for what, they, what they're what they worth. 255. Okay, you're going to 255. What about, I don't know, 220? Would you have that? No. 215 Koku. No. Okay, 210 Goku. <laughs> no, okay, I should just go with the 200. I'm just gonna go with the 200 in that case. 200 Koku. I'm giving you five more turns. Make a proposal. Oh, excellent. Okay, so what we can do now in that case is we can actually get our improved irrigation. We can actually get a unit here just to bolster our kind of forces. So I'm just gonna get a Yari Ashigaru so I can defend the walls if something was to attack me. Um, just it's just you know s securing your borders. We're going to have uh, two turns to have a stronghold here, just in case uh, you know Imagawa or Takeda decide to run down and start attacking me. And I'm going to be getting my port here, in, well, get my harbour here in one turn as well. So now would be a good time to try and take Musashi. So we're going to attack. So we got General to you know we got we could we could also resolve this, but as a matter of fact, if I was to continue assaulting. If I was to continue assaulting, would they... My turns until it's... Two turns until surrender, what? Autumn, it'd be winter now, wouldn't it, after this? Would it be winter now? I think it would be, wouldn't it? Oh, shit, okay. Oh, fuck it, let's attack him. I don't like attacking like this, but let's do it. I could go for a night attack. Let's go for a night attack, it's different. Let's do it, men. Let's go for a night attack. Battle of Edo. We take this province with fire and blood. We shall do it. 
Oh my goodness, it's going to be cool. It's going to be awesome, guys. So I hope you're enjoying this series so far. Um, it's basically a spur of the moment thing. You know, a couple of you guys have mentioned lately that you want to see more Total War stuff on my channel. And of course, my channel did sort of initially become a Total War channel, you know, in, in the same kind of breath as other channels do it, like uh, Hef and Legend of Total War, Lionheart, Warrior of Sparta, etc, etc. You know, you know all the guys. So... You know, many of them have t many of them took part in that challenge I did li uh, recently. Oh god, this battlefield. Uh, okay. Where the fuck are you guys? Let's start the battle. At the wall. Of course you're at the wall. Okay, so what are we going to do here in that case? I've only got 13 archers. This is where it gets a bit shitty. Now what we're going to do, guys, we're going to get my archers. Over there. Fast forward. I'm hoping they don't die. This could be. This could cost me because of the amount of men I've lost um, with my archers in the previous battles. But the aim is to get them over here. They do, of course, have retainers. Um, the Yariashi, oh, they have Yariashi Garu unit actually, which uh, assists them. So, yeah, we've been unlucky there. Put them over there. Mm, this is the lowest part of the wall to climb up. Quite low up there. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do in that case. Group up all our uh, in our units here. We're going to be marching them. i walk them over there. Get my bows into position. Keep the generals where they are. Keep the bow units locked onto them. Wish I had more bows. Bows are really good for siege battles, but they you can kind of ignore them in open field battles. So what we're going to be doing now... It's getting that into position for us. So if we go to about there. Fast forward it again. again. Just until... Oh god. Okay, we're going to get some shots on the general. Bullseye! Fire in the hole! Didn't kill anyone. Only got 13 men, so it's going to be quite awkward. It's going to take quite a lot of volleys to do damage. So yeah, it's going to be... One of those things. Not gonna get many kills, but I'm just gonna do this just to wind them up, just to try and get get them to attack me or focus on this unit. The aim is to try and get the bows. There are only 39 of them as well, so I'd have to be too cautious. Once I get into position, I'll start climbing, and then I'll get my generals nearby as well, and they can perhaps do a little bit of damage for me. Let's get them round here like that. 13 men against 39. Was it 39? Yeah, 39. Uh, bow units. So a few kills, you know, if we get a few kills and they're not focused on me, we'll whip them down to be the same number as me. So here we go. He's gonna aim 39 down to 37. Okay, and halt. I'm gonna halt. Halt those bastards. Get my units. Just around the back to there. Hopefully the bows won't attack me there. I could go for the Yari Ashigaru here, 141 of them. But, with that being said, the bow units is what's going to cause the most damage to me. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Let's put it back on to... Uh, Fire wheel. Once they start attacking the Ariashi Garus here, they should move away from their kind of walking pattern. Got a couple more kills. It's all about maximizing the amount of kills you get. Got some cav units charging down there. Maybe get a few more kills on the Ari. Oh, fuck, they moved. Fuck, fuck, it, fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, that's, sh that's bullshit. It is the bullshit, lads. It is bullshit. Okay, get my men sneaking around the back around the walls. We're going to go up these walls, this side, attack from this flank. My generals then can just run across you, avoid arrow fire, and just march up once we capture this doorway, and I'm just going to push our way in and, and kill a bunch of cunts. That's the, that's the plan. In theory, it's a decent plan, but executing it can be quite tricky, especially when defensive battles favour the AI. Now, me ending that battle, you know, that previous battle, the way it did, that could cost me, because I could have whittled away half of the men in this fort right now, and I could just I could just rush it and, and lose barely anyone. But the fact... Oh, shit, look at my men, this is... No hits at all on, on the on the general, which is bloody annoying. I don't want to aim for the general, I want to aim for the bows. 
have two tackle buttons from here. Aim your fire over there, men. Aim fire! That's what I want. That's what I want, you mad bastards. You aim for those bow ashigaru. Just get as many kills on them as you can, so they can't hurt my generals when they go charging up like the great men that they are. More arrow fire charging, and 36. Only killed three. Wish we could do better than that. Men are basically in position. Yari Ashigaru needs to go first. Get them. Yari Sam, probably. Oh god. I mean, Yari Sam, 56. Put them. Put them there. Not gonna go up yet. I'm waiting for the right moment. Just waiting for the right moment. Put all the Ari uh, Ashigaru together so that they bunched up. When they do eventually get attacked, then got some sort of defense. I'm actually going to get my generals now. Do the same thing, just to go across here. Get around, because of course that fear effect, if I can get it into play. I don't think it will actually play a part in this battle, because, you know, siege battles, the defense gets a morale boost. They, I don't think they can route inside the the um, settlement so you know it's gonna be one of those things where you just have to try it out and see but this is why I wanted them to fight in the open last time because that fear effect just had a fantastic um, way of helping me win that battle just the, mo the moment they got near my generals it was easy to break them and that's kind of the aim of the game just get get fear effects on them and just do that I would like it if the general would come out and attack me but they don't do that for some reason in, in this kind of uh, scenario Ashigaru! Yare Ashigaru! Okay, generals, get your asses over here. Because you're going to be used as well in this battle. Use up all of my Bo Ashigarus. Alright. Get the fuck up, men. Get the fuck up, ya. There we go, this is the big attack, men. This is the big attack. This is how we do it. Here we go. So we're attacking up two flanks. Bows are on their way up as well. Bows are going to charge general. Just a temporary kind of thing. Kill my men, get up there. Yari Sam again. This is where I hate defensive uh, siege battles, I guess, you know. For fuck's sake, Ben, get up. Get up, you cunts, get up. Got to advance on quickly. Bo's gonna be gone. Fucking General's fucking fucked as well. Shit, I need to get that capture point. Oh, good, the General's fallen. Fuck yeah. Fuck, this is what I didn't want. My General's getting fucked up the arse by the bows. Need to get that capture point, for fuck's sake. The Ari Ashikaru shaken, but of course they're not going to rout. I can't do fuck all about it. Still got men climbing, which is good. Hurry up and break. No, they're not going to break, of course. 40 against 15, and they are shaken. Should be okay there. Once we get this capture point, I can get my generals up and they can take out the remaining Bo Ashikarus. We have whittled them down, of course. And these Yaris are now getting taken over. We are, okay, we are doing relatively well. Down 98, 97. They are losing them very quickly. Any bows? Come on, bows. Tell you what, bows. Get up over there. I don't care if there's only three of you. Get that capture point. Don't run, for fuck's sake, don't run. You fucking idiots. Oh, fuck. See, this has forced them now to come out. Get that flagpole up for me, you cunts. Yeah, we're doing it. We are doing it. Okay, this is going to work now. Force them over there. My calf can now get in. We are losing men, of course, which is fucking annoying because. Yeah, you know. Rally, you can gonna rally them. Keep attacking there. And my general's gonna come in now. Give a little bit of inspiration to those units over there. Another rally and cry, please. Form up with the one to have. Form up with the other one. Charge Yari Ashikaru is wavering over there. 
charge. Shouldn't charge Yardies with generals, but I can move it. Just gonna wipe them out. Glorious victory will soon be mine. Oh my god, look at this bow unit just completely peltering and taking everything that I have. That's what it's come down to. I got 21 men in my general's unit though, and they've only got 14 remaining. We are going to take it, but this is what I mean how how many men you can lose in a siege battle. And this is how it can cost you, like that previous battle. If you don't mop up, it, it can really affect you in the kind of coming battles you have. There's only five remaining, this is good. Got samurai going to take him on anyway. That's why Samurai really good. My general can charge in and take the remaining two. Let's have a little charge. Let's have a little... Look at this. Charge! Boom! Just like that. Crunch, crunch time. And they're gone. And they celebrate. Look at that. Oh, yes. I like it, man. I like it. We'll give you a little tickle on the arms. <laughs> so tricky, you see? So we won in the end. But like I said, that mistake in the... You know, when I clicked on the screen and it ends battle, when, you know, if I'd mopped up, I could have taken out another 100 men at least, making that battle much, much easier to have won and meaning that I wouldn't have lost as many men that, that I lost. So it's one of those things, unfortunately, but... You win some, you lose some. We've won, but at a great cost. As you can see, we lost most of our men. We've actually lost a very experienced Yari Ashigaru unit there, and we've actually lost our bow unit, finally. Although it's been a long time coming, losing that unit. But we've taken uh, uh, Musashi. And uh, we're going to peacefully occupy I could vassalize it, but I'm going to occupy it on the land. Generals increase, mission successful. So that's a very good thing for me. So let's uh, go on to my daimyo, Hojo Ujiyasu. Retainer. So you can have hero worshipping boy, gives you plus one morale. Or I can go for the minus two assassination and the melee attack for the general. I'm going to go for that one. And then you're going to get the map movement, because who doesn't like a bit of map movement? Helps out when you're trying to run long distances uh, on the map. And yeah, very good stuff. So we've taken Musashi. Let's actually uh, sort ourselves out with Musashi right now. So um, could exempt them from tax. We can afford to have them right up for a turn or two, I think. We've got a bit of money. Sorry, I don't have much money, but we'll have a lot more money next turn. And of course, next turn, we will be having uh, a harbour. We will be having this uh, stable, so I can actually start recruiting some light cabs. I am going to be so dependent on my generals. But there we go. This is how I've done it so far. This is how the campaign has developed. We haven't lost yet. We've had a couple of decent battles, and we've taken Musashi. I'm going to end this year. I've been Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye. Mm -hmm.